Today, we're going to check out episodes 461 and 462 of One Piece. Look at but before we do, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, maybe subscribe to the channel because most of you are not subscribed. We recently hit 50,000 subscribers. I think we could hit 60,000 by the end of the year. And I will do something special when we reach 100,000 subscribers. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon where we are a couple of weeks ahead. The coating's kind of weird. It's like it's wrapped in like a plastic wrap. <laughs> They saran wrap the ship. Oh. Warships are coming up, or what's that? Oh. Oh, those are white beard ships. Interesting. Hmm. I like that they all do look like unique characters. They don't look, and nobody there looked generic in my eyes. Okay, Whitebeard. Right now, he is... Would we consider... I feel like at this moment in time, he would be considered... Not King of the Pirates, but... Closest thing to, right? That's his laugh. Wait, is that the first time we're hearing Whitebeard laugh? No, I feel like we heard him laugh before. When he was with Shanks. I thought it was like a out loud, like a ah ha ha type of laugh. Oh, Luffy knew this shit. Wait, so he knew that Ace's dad was Gold Roger, but he didn't know who his own dad was. He just knew it was somebody else. I wonder if he was told not to say anything about Ace's dad. Aww. Oh shit, what is Whitebeard about to do? Hockey? He about to hockey this motherfucker so hard. What the fuck is that? What? Is this hockey? What is this ability? Is this a, a devil fruit? I'm. What the fuck am I looking at right now? What the fuck? Oh, he did the same shit. He just took off on a shitty raft. Uh. Only makes sense that he would become a pirate. I mean. No wonder he got his fucking name, huh? Oh, sick. Uh, they instantly flipped. He's like, oh, you're related to Luffy? Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, what's up? Come through. It's his birthright. No. He would never say something like that because he doesn't like the affiliation with Gold Roger. Oh, I wonder how long Jinbei was a warlord for. Wait, how long? I'm very intrigued by this. When did Ace start calling, you know, when did he get introduced to Whitebeard? Like, was he his son for like three years? Like, how? It doesn't even feel like it's been a long time. These motherfuckers were fighting for five days. Yo, Ace is strong. Oh shit! Ace B Jimbe. And there's Whitebeard. Yep. It's the it's the guy that's passed out on the fucking ground. Damn. Bro, you literally just got your ass whooped, Ace. What the fuck? You don't got it in you? Come on now. Whitebeard had to have recognized that Ace literally just fought against Jinbei. 
Yeah, I think it's more it's less about beating the strongest man, Whitebeard, and more about beating the guy that was able to contend with his father, Gold Roger. Oh, does he know? Damn. What the fuck? That's weird. So he just met him, beat his ass, and he was like, be my son. Like, I'd never seen somebody son somebody so hard that they actually, like, made him their son. Like, that's... That's wild. <laughs> it's next level sunning. Is he also the cook here? He's the Sanji of the gang? Maybe? If you will? Now you're part of the part of the gang now, bro. While he's sleeping. Damn. And just went back to sleep. <laughs> shit. So this is what he did for the longest. He was he was Thorfinn in this shit, huh? You gotta recognize this man is stronger than you. Oh, uh, it's a thing he does with his entire crew. His whole crew is his sons. Oh, that's cute. You gotta strengthen up, bro. You gotta get better. You're just not good enough. Oh, so all the white beards have the shit on their back. I don't know who Doma is, but good job. Is it only giants that just have weird ass laughs? Is he a giant? This is how he eats, bro. There he goes. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Giving us the backstory on how he became part of the Whitebeard Pirates and all that. Killed Thatch? You fucking batch. Dude, he knew from the jump. Interesting. What are the odds Blackbeard knew all this shit was gonna happen? Oh no. You know? I never even find that shit. Or did he have a plan like, oh, once that happens, I know what to do. I will set things in motions this way or like or set things in motion this way. I don't know, man. Very weird. Very interesting. Yeah, I doubt it's over. This man cracked nothing. He cracked the air? Because you're my son. Oh. All right, next. The strength that Whitebeard possesses, bro. God, I want to see Shanks in action, too. I feel like I've already been told before, maybe on Patreon comments or something, that Whitebeard is not a giant. Ah, uh, some good dudes, some good dudes in those white beard pirates. Why is he literally just making that face right now, dude? I literally, um, I already forgot his name. Kizuru, 
Mmm, I almost forgot. <sighs> Shut up, Gecko Moria. Another ship? Means the door's open. The gate is open, right? Oh, is this a result of the sea quake? Oh, did he do this on purpose? Did he know? Knows. I'm assuming he's seen it in action before. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna flash back to him or something. This whole situation sus. Look like a twister fucking. I've been still with the big ass head, huh? Oh my gosh, shut up, dude. It's not about giving up, it's finding the right timing. It's all part of the plan. His magnificent confidence. If we looked at his face, I bet he's fucking scared or what? <laughs> All right, Mr. Three, bro. You want to give us some insight? What, do you, what you're thinking, sir? Like, what the fuck? He's really just won over everyone that's like not super... You know, everybody that's like like the ordinary pirates. He's won over all the ordinaries. Is that a storm? What is going on with them? What is going on with Luffy's side of things? I genuinely don't have a clue what is up with Luffy's side of things. So weird. Why is Django there? So the water level rising means the tide is coming in. There's a rising tide, which means... What is this, a fucking tsunami? Oh, shit. Oh, what? What the fuck? The quake, quake fruit? No wonder. Holy shit! Whitebeard's built different! He is really, truly built different. Holy fuck. Loof! Loof! Okay, wait. Nope, okay. Damn! They gotta be carried along a little bit by this damn tsunami, right? Oh, and that pink haired guy is the guy from Baratier. The one Marine from Baratier, okay. Damn, white beard. Holy shit, brother. A lot of little captains and shit. I don't know what we call them. Damn. Mm, that voice. You young squirt. Wait, ooh, why is he talking about him like that? What the fuck? You got some kind of respect for him? Nope. That's crazy, dude. It's so sick what he does. God, I love his fucking abilities, dude. This whole ice ability shit is just... I love it, man. I'll be real with you, bro. I love this shit. It's so sick. So ice, light, and then what is the third guy, dude? You know? I gotta see that shit. I don't want you to tell me, by the way. I'm not asking for you to tell me. Don't go into the comments like, oh, you asked what the third guy was. No, like, I'm just thinking out loud. Mmm. Got some commanders rushing out, too. Interesting design on this guy. Weird-ass fucking facial hair, but okay. Smokey! Smokey the bear. 
Fucking war has begun. I wonder if these other guys are, are fruit powered or just like technically gifted. You know how like Zoro is just amazing with the sword? Nope. Not today, bitch. Bro, she needs to be a little more aware, dude. Yeah, I'm saying stay alert. Be a little more aware. You're gonna get into some shit and get fucked up. You got strong opponents ahead of you here. It's nice to have ice in the water. Wait, why? Oh, use the ice as a way to bridge the... Oh. the fuck is that? Oh! Alright, I'm not gonna cap. I don't... Hey, I remember that guy. I remember the Roman helmet man. And I remember the, the, the red hair. Because the red hair is the, the one with Boa that we met. I don't know if I remember the other guys. It's like they Buster called the fucking uh, Marine Ford. <laughs> the old... Mmm. She intrigues me, bro. I want to learn more about her. Mainly because she's old. She's got to be from that era, you know? What if she, like, knows Brooke? That would be lit, dude. I want to meet somebody that has, like, importance as a Marine or as a pirate or whatever that knows Brooke. That would be so dope, dude. Ah. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is the war. This is this is the war arc. Nothing greater than literally they have, they literally have the most the the biggest pirate right now versus all of the marines and shit. That's wild. That is next level, dude. I want to see what his ability is, too. The middle admiral. The true distance. Oh, so this guy's a swordsman. Mmm. Me hawk in action, dude. Ooh. So this is a way for us to see Mihawk in action without him having to cross swords with Zoro. Zoro's not around. Nah, bro. Well, the odds he just phew, slaps it away. God, that would be sick. Ugh. Okay. Or we don't get to see it. You know, whatever. Maybe maybe we just don't get to see it. That's, that's, that's you know, that's fine too. All right, so the war has begun in these episodes. We get to see Whitebeard's fruit power, which is pretty fucking sick. He has the Tremor Tremor fruit, which essentially creates quakes, earthquakes, sea quakes. Other quakes. I don't know. I I don't I don't exactly know the extent of the power. Can he it can it work on a small level and a large level? Is it only a larger level? Like what exactly goes on with this um tremor tremor fruit? I wonder if he can make people quake. You know, steps in the room, they quake in their boots. Who knows? It's just really cool. This man literally created cracks in the sky, rose up the sea, sent it out and came back with tsunamis. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit is wild. <laughs> that shit is wild, dude. That is so cool to see in action. I also really liked seeing this backstory for Ace and how he got to be a Whitebeard pirate. Like how he got to meet Whitebeard. You know, basically his journey in a very like summarized fashion, admittedly. But it's still cool. You know, I feel like they could go a little more in depth and they probably will when when Whitebeard dies. Because again, uh, I really do think that Whitebeard is going to end up sacrifice, fi sacrificing himself to save Ace. It's just, it just feels like that thing, right? You know, it's a very shonen trope to have the mentor sacrifice himself for the student. I don't want to start spoiling anime, but... There's a few. <laughs> There's a few where that happens, you know? It's quite possible that that could happen here. 
and uh, Whitebeard sacrifices himself to save Ace. I imagine we'll get a little more of their connection, but we got a good amount of the connection here. We got to see him reveal to Whitebeard about his past, uh, about his lineage, if you will. Um, we found out that Luffy already knew about Ace being Gold Roger's son and that they're not related. He just didn't know who his own dad was, which was kind of fucked. Like, oh, hey, I know that we're not brothers. I know who your dad is. I don't know who mine is though. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's kind of messed up. I don't know. I wonder if he knew that Garp was his grandpa, not Ace's grandpa, like by blood. Or if he just found that out now. I feel like it's just, it's just weird for Luffy to never have been like, oh, you are my grandpa. You know, you adopted this kid as your grandson, Ace, but you're my actual grandpa. And I'm not gonna ask who my dad is. Oh, his, his dad's Gold Roger, King of the Pirates. Who's my dad? What the fuck? He, why does he have the King of the Pirates as his dad? Wh wh who's mine? What does my guy do? He just never asked that? Like, it just feels so... I don't know. Luffy is also a very, like, singularly focused person, so it's possible he just didn't give a fuck. Also, we don't know who his mom is. And he's not even... Ace isn't even his half-brother, I don't think, because I don't think... Because Ace's mom died right? After giving birth to him. So she couldn't give birth to Luffy, which means Luffy literally is not related to Ace in any way, in any capacity, which means Luffy's mom could be fucking anybody. Well, phrase that different. I, I'm not trying to call her a whore or anything. Like, I'm not saying she could be fucking anybody. You know and I mean, like she could be anyone. I don't know who the fuck his mom is, uh, but it was sick. Seeing Aokiji stop the, the, the tsunamis, Seeing all the stuff here, it's like a real fucking battle. Mihawk is jumping in here. And with that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.